Hello, good morning. So, yeah, time, yeah. I didn't sleep. <laughs> it was not on purpose. We finished our game and I was like, awesome, I'm gonna finish some stuff up and then I'll go to bed. And suddenly it was 6 a.m. and there were people coming into the lounges to get ready to disembark. So, I'm gonna go get some coffee. I actually feel surprisingly okay. I feel like I would have gone to bed if I was more tired, but I don't feel tired, so. Good morning, Canada. It is a beautiful, rainy, foggy day here in St. John, Canada. I am really excited to go walk around the city, and I'm hoping that I don't drop my phone off this balcony. Someone handed me this historic St. John pamphlet. I don't remember who or when, but I have it now. The only city on the magnificent Bay of Fundy, St. John. There are a lot of St. Johns, aren't there? Like in terms of actual saints, I am caffeinated. I have an umbrella. I am on a boat. I am living my best life. Get ready, Canada. Here we come. Wait, do I need Canadian money? I don't have Canadian money. Where do I get Canadian money? I'm gonna have to get a Canadian job before we get back on the boat. I think it's illegal for me to buy these because I'm not Canadian. So if I buy them, it's like I'm wearing a lie. Everything is in both English and French. Man, I wish I were better at French. If I buy this poncho, Will it make me as cool as this guy? Because that would convince me. Mountie Mouse. Apparently we are going to two Canadian ports. I didn't know that. We get to go to Canada twice. Our ship is also now flying the Canadian flag instead of the American one. Which I understand because now we are in Canada. But I didn't know if the point of it was just to show what country you're in. Canadian business hours. Canadian soap. Fisherman's blend. It attracts the fish to you like bug spray for fish, but the opposite. All the houses in this neighborhood are just beautiful. It's such a classic feel. You know, I've never been much of an architecture person, but I'm kind of into these. Now that's a steeple. Canadian plants. There are maple leaves falling, you guys. Quintessential Canada experience. It's just like the flag. <laughs> Permit parking for residents only. Do you guys know what that means? You can live in an 1878 cathedral. I'm moving to Canada. I always wanted to haunt a cathedral. A bold statement. I believe them though. I know I said I'm not an architecture person, but this place kind of makes me want to be an architecture person. Another cathedral. Canadian stop sign. Also in French. Tim Hortons. It's real. Wait, I think this is a restaurant. I thought Tim Hortons was like a grocery store. That's a restaurant. Is it both? Maybe there will be another one at the next Canadian stop and we can find out. The mystery continues. Stay tuned. Canadian Hotel! Maybe it's just this community, but I'm not seeing a lot of big chain stores. Even in this mall, it seems like a lot of these are pretty independent. Or maybe I just don't know the Canada chains. A lot of the stores here are empty. Ghost Mall. Another Tim Hortons! I guess the mystery is solved after all. It seems to be a restaurant. Apparently, I really don't know the Canadian chains. We don't have Wi-Fi outside the ship, and we definitely don't have cell service in Canada. But thankfully, this uh, Lawton's Drugs does have free Wi-Fi. So, thank you to Lawton's Drugs. Rainbow Crosswalk! With the mystery of Tim Hortons solved, we can now go back to the cruise ship in peace and prepare for our next stop in Canada. I'm also going to try and get some sleep because it has been almost 24 hours since I have slept and that is not healthy. So, good night, I guess? Good day? I woke up and my watch and my phone were displaying different times. Half an hour apart. I don't think that's how time zones work. Did the way time passes change while I was asleep? I am in a windowless box and the laws of the passage of time have changed. More violins! My grandparents are wearing matching outfits. It's so cute, I think I might die. The ocean! Hello! I am holding on to my phone so tight. <laughs> it would really not be good to lose my phone right now because it's still backing up like the 200 or so little video clips I've taken. I don't know if it's the cruise ship internet or what, but it's still going. This is the back of the ship. Look at that water behind us, slicing through the waves. I wonder how fast we're going. 
As the evening winds down, I'm gonna head to the lounge to do some more editing. It's been quite a day, so I'm finishing the next vlog to go up. And I would like to get some more done on Thursday's D&D session. Tomorrow, we will be in Halifax, Canada for our Titanic. I can't remember what my excursion's called, so I'm gonna ask the wall. <laughs> Thank you, Wall. The Titanic resting place tour. That's the one we're taking. I am going to bed at a decent hour tonight, sort of decent. It's only 3 a.m. Good night, Canada, and I will see you in the morning. Canadian Escalator.